Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, with the start of early trial season, just around the corner here in Wisconsin, um, I just thought I'd make a video about trout fishing regulations for the state of Wisconsin. Um, I know fishing regulations can be super confusing in general, uh, so I hope this video clears up some things on that note. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna take you through this online tool that pretty clearly shows the laws for the state down to the level of specific streams that you might want to fish. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate if you uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video helpful, um, hit the like button. And if you want, share the video. So starting, as you see on my screen, in the Google search, um, let's just search uh, Wisconsin. So just WI uh, trout tool, trout tool. Uh, there's quite a few different ways you can get to this tool. Um, so it's going to be this one. It has like an acronym, Trout. It's the Trout Regulations and Opportunities User Tool. Uh, that's what the Trout acronym stands for. It's pretty clever. So if you, you'll get to a page like this and you scroll down, Launch Trout Viewer. So this is how you, how you get to it through a Google search. I will also put a link directly to this in the description below so you can get right to that. Um, and just a note, this tool is made and managed by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. So it should be a very reliable source of information. So let's go through the features of this mapping tool. So the default view, here we're showing the whole state, um, this default view shows trout regulations for waters throughout the state. And I'll get back to this in more detail in a minute, but the three main things that are wrapped up in the regulations are one, um, and let me just zoom in to show you kind of a little more detail. So one thing is bag limits, and that's if you're planning on keeping fish, how many fish and what size they need to be to keep. And that is designated by these colored lines that overlay over the trout streams. Um, the second thing that is part of the regulations is uh, the dates or are the dates for open and close seasons. And the third thing being gear restrictions that might apply during certain parts of the season. So you can toggle between the regulations layer and kind of a secondary tool you could use in this. Um, so if we go over here to menu, uh, you can go to map layers. Another thing you can show is designated trout water. So here, if you kind of scroll down, if you check this box, it'll show designated trout waters. And if you uncheck the trout regulations, um, see how the colors switched on the screen. So now instead of showing uh, basically like uh, length, your bag limits, you're showing the classifications of the trout streams. Um, and so the three classifications are green, which are class one, light blue, which are class two, and this darker blue, which are class three. This will be a little important later on, and I'll mention why this is important. Um, but just, just so you know, this is how you get to that. So let's bring it back to the default. So back to the trout fishing regulations. So another kind of minor feature of this map is, are these uh, purple dots and sections of streams. Um, and what these are, are trout habitat improvement projects um, that have been done between the years of 2011 and 2018. Um, I'm not gonna talk about this really any more than that. Uh, but just uh, kind of for your information, um, that's what that is. So another feature that this map shows are DNR easements. And what easements are, are private lands that are open to the public, in this case for fishing. Um, it also shows non-DNR easements, uh, for example, county easements and trout, trout unlimited eas easements. Um, but these are only shown on this map in Dane, Vernon, and Monroe counties. So while it has some public access information, I wouldn't rely on this map for finding um, that information. I actually have another video where I used a different tool to find public access, which I like much better than this tool. And so I'll put a link in the description 
at the end of this video and then also somewhere on the screen right now. Uh, I'm not going to talk more about public access in this video except to clear up a couple definitions. So in Wisconsin, public water is determined by navigability. In other words, a water body is public in Wisconsin if you're able to float a recreational boat such as a canoe on said water. And so you can fish in that water assuming that you can access it by public land or if you have permission to access it um, over private land by the landowner. And then once you're in the public water, if it runs through private land and you don't have that permission, uh, you need to keep your feet in the water. Um, this is different than some other states where it's like the high water line, or I think in the past in Wisconsin, it was a high water line. Uh, now you need to keep your feet in the water. And this is except in the case where an obstruction or unsafe wading um, kind of requires you to get out of the water, then you're legally able to get out of the water and then re-enter as soon as you're around that, that uh, dangerous uh, spot or impassable spot. So enough on um, kind of public access for this video though. So back to the major feature of this mapping tool is the trout regulation information, which shows up as the green, yellow, red, and black lines that overlay the streams. Um, in the key on the left, let's go back to our main menu here, exit out of layers. So on this sort of key on the left, it has a trout regulations key, um, which goes through, uh, generally speaking, what the different colors mean. So green means that there's no minimum length limit and you can keep five. Uh, yellow means that you can keep three over eight inches trout. Uh, red, there are special regulations, so you'd have to go to the specific stream and look at it. And then black are Great Lakes tributaries, and they all have their kind of very specific regulations. Um, so just to go through a couple examples of that on this map, um, let's just zoom in here. So this is in northern Wisconsin. So we see uh, three of the four different colors here. Um, we have green, so let's just click on that. Regulations. So first it shows the season, and this is the season you can keep fish. It's always the first Saturday in May through October 15th. Any gear restrictions that might be associated with that stream. Um, again, if you're keeping fish, the daily bag and length limit. And then uh, something that isn't indicated by the colors is early season. Um, so here in Wisconsin, um, there is an early catch and release season on the vast majority of streams that runs from the first Saturday in January to the first Saturday in May when, when uh, your catch and keep season opens. Um, and so all trout have to be immediately released. And then also a vast majority of the streams, you have to use artificial lures during this early season. So no live bait. And I'll note while I'm talking about that, that uh, doe baits and corn are considered live bait in this case, or they fall into that category. So let's go to another. So, so here we're on a yellow stream. Again, shows all that. Um, and then again, early season. Um, and then I'm not going to go into too much detail on uh, the Great Lakes tributaries because again, they're so specific to every stream and location on the stream that it, it's hard to generalize uh, information on those, but you can use this tool to figure out the information. Uh, it talks about all the seasons, which are, which differ from inland and um, you know, there's different fish running up those. So uh, it, it goes into regulations on those, but that's all I'll say about that. And then let me just go to an example of a red stream. So red stream, again, these are specific or special regulations. So this one, for example, uh, season round or year round, when the season is open, you can only use artificial lures, so no live bait. Um, and then the bag limits are, are quite a bit different than the kind of liberal bag limits of uh, no minimum of eight. And here you can only keep one trout over 14. And then early season for this specific one is the same as, as kind of others. 
So one last example or situation you might run into is if you're fishing a stream, just go back up here. So here's a good example. So if you're fishing a stream, sorry about this, just trying to find a good example. Well, basically any of these, these are fine examples. <clears throat> so let's just pretend that you're in this stream, um, which is green. Um, and you, you walk by this small tributary, which has water flowing in it, and you decide to wade up that uh, just a little ways. So the question here is, what are the regulations for unmarked streams? The reason they're unmarked is because they're not classified trout streams. So if you were to switch um, back over to this map layer of, uh, so let's get rid of the trout fishing regulations and put on the trout water. See, now this is uh, designated. This is not designated trout water. Switch back quick. So those regulations fall to the county base regulations. Um, and so if you click, it brings up the base county inland trout regulations um, for this particular. So this is Bayfield County. So this is, it falls under green. So five trout in total, any length. Another thing you can do is go to this tools if you if you're having trouble identifying something and there's this identify tool and then you can click and drag and it'll bring up kind of all the regulations so it brings up the trout stream regulations which are these then also brings up again the base county regulations which are such so one note on trout seasons any water that is designated trout water, it is illegal to fish for any species during the closed trout season, with the exception of rough fish, and you can only take rough fish by hand during the closed trout season. So that's something to keep in mind. This is not a situation where you can go to the stream, fish for whatever you think is in there, and, um, you know, if DNR stop you, you can't just give the excuse of, oh, I wasn't fishing for trout. That doesn't work here. Um, so that's that's another case where switching to the map layers, um, su switching off the regulations and switching to trout water. So anything that is designated trout water in the state of Wisconsin. Zoom in a little bit. There's a lot of trout water. So this is kind of in the driftless, this is like right in the heart of the driftless area. Anything that shows up here from October 15th through the first Saturday in January, you cannot fish at all. But that's it. That's all I wanted to say on that. So um, just to go through some of the other tools of this, of this online uh, mapping tool, so if you go to this tools box, uh, you have the identify, which I already went through. Um, if you go to pan, that allows you to kind of click and drag around the um, around the map. That's kind of your, your default setting. Um, legend shows you all the different colors and what they mean, um, including easements, uh, county boundaries, etc. cetera. Um, you're able to measure distances, which is could be kind of nice. You can do a line, you can do a freehand line. Uh, you can, you know, if you wanted to fish a certain section of the stream, you can measure how, how far it is to get an idea of how much you're gonna be walking or wading. Um, you can plot coordinates and um, you can also print or save, save maps to your computer. So right here, if I wanted to save this map or if I zoomed in on this random stream, um, just to show like access, um, like here, I could park here, walk in. Um, I could print this map or save this map. Those are the tools that I that I like. You also have this menu option over here, which if you click on that, it's another way to get to that legend. So we can pop out the legend again, um, but let me just get rid of that. So going back to menu, the other thing in here is the map layers. So again, clicking on that allows you to um, change what is actually being shown on the map. So you can either have your trout fishing regulations um, or your trout waters, which is kind of the main thing. And it also has like easements and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and then it also has the terrain, which could come in handy. 
it could be useful for you. Um, just know it's there. And then there's also the air photos, which you might've seen earlier, but you could either have that on, you know, get rid of the base map. So this is the aerial photos, or it's actually defaulted so that when you zoom in, you reach a certain zoom point, it'll actually just switch over to the aerial photos from the map, which is kind of nice. I somewhat use this feature in my other video to find access points. And I encourage you to use, to go over there and then take a look at that. So that's all I wanted to show you guys with this tool. I could look through it for hours um, and I hope you find it as useful as I do. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you have any questions, I'd be glad to, to look into and answer. Like the video if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a happy new year. See you next time.